Let A be an invertible skew symmetric matrix of size n. We'll assume the field that we're working in does not have characteristic equal to 2. So if it helps, just pretend we're in the real or complex numbers. I want to show two things. First, I want to prove that n is even. Then we want to show that A inverse is also skew symmetric. Now, definition of skew symmetric, that just means if we take the transpose of our matrix, we get back minus our matrix, or in a more useful form, we'll have that our matrix is equal to minus its transpose. Now, to show number one, if A is invertible, that's equivalent to the statement that the determinant of A is non-zero. So if we take the determinant of A, okay, well, that's equal to the determinant of minus A transpose. I could factor this as minus the identity matrix times A transpose. So if I have a minus sign out in front, all we're doing is pushing a minus sign through each row. And that's the same as multiplying by minus the identity. Then use the product rule for determinant to pull this apart. Since this is an n by n identity matrix with a minus sign in front, so we have minus ones down the diagonal, its determinant is minus one to the n. And then over here, determinant of A transpose is equal to determinant of A. So we get that the determinant of A equals minus one to the n determinant of A. N is odd. That says determinant of A is equal to minus determinant of A, push it to the other side. We have two determinant of A equals zero. Since characteristic is not equal to two, that means the determinant of A is equal to zero. So if we had that A was invertible, there's no way we could have N odd. So N had to be even. Next, we will show that A inverse is skew symmetric. So if B is equal to A inverse, then we want to show that B transpose equals minus B. When we put the A inverse in there, we have to keep track of all the symbols. Note, if B is equal to A inverse, that means B is the unique matrix such that B times A equals A times B is equal to the identity matrix. In practice, if I could show that B times A or A times B is equal to the identity matrix, we get it for the other side for free. Now, let's go through this in steps. So for my first step, I have A times A inverse equals the identity, okay, by definition of inverse. I'm gonna apply transpose to both sides. Now, I'll show this in a little bit. If I take a product of two matrices, take the transpose, it's gonna be the same as reversing the order of each transpose. Okay, so if you have A, B transpose, that equals B transpose times A transpose. So here, what are we gonna have? Well, we're gonna have A inverse transpose times A transpose, and then that's gonna be equal to the identity because the identity transposes itself. Now, if you note, if I let B be equal to A inverse transpose, that means that the inverse of A transpose is equal to B. So that's gonna mean we have this identity here. A inverse transpose equals A transpose inverse. For my next step, let's see if we can push through the skew symmetric property. Now, we want to show that A inverse transpose equals minus A inverse. Okay, remember A inverse is sitting in for B here. Now, if we take A inverse transpose, what we're allowed to do to switch here by step one then A transpose is equal to minus A, by definition of A being skew symmetric. Then we can factor this. So we're gonna have minus the identity matrix times A. And then if we take an inverse of a product of two matrices, same as with the transpose, we reverse the order and take the inverse of each. Okay, so if I had A times B inverse, it's equal to B inverse, A inverse, and I'll show that in a little bit also. Now, once we have that, okay, what's well, gonna give me A inverse times minus I inverse. Minus I times itself gives me the identity. So it's self inverse, so it could drop it from that. And then note, we're just putting a minus sign out in front here. So A inverse transpose equals minus A inverse. So that's our result. Okay, all we have to do now, clean up a few details. 
Final step, let's do some cleanup. First thing we wanna show, if I take the product of A and B, take its transpose, we get B transpose times A transpose. Now, we wanna follow what's happening with the matrix multiplication. So if I take A times B, take the i row times the jth column, that gives me the i jth entry of the product. So I'll call that Cij. Now, if I transpose both sides in the product here, that's just gonna move us from the i jth position to the j times i position. If we reverse the order and transpose, what are we doing here? Well, we're gonna carry the i row to the i column and the jth column to the jth row. So these two products are gonna be exactly the same. So that's gonna show our result. So the idea is if we multiply like this, we're gonna wind up getting the same answer that we did before, just in a new position. Now, another way to see this. So let's just suppose for simplicity, we have a real inner product. So we're only working with real vector spaces here. Then if I take A times B times V against the vector W, I can just peel them off one at a time as we push them to the other side. So we'll have A transpose moves over, then B transpose moves over. Now, we can move the product over just by putting a transpose on it. Then I'll leave it to you to show the argument that if we have this equal to this for all V and W, then these two matrices here have to be equal. Finally, let's show that A times B inverse is equal to B inverse times A inverse. Now, let's call B inverse times A inverse the matrix C. Then if I take C times AB, what do we have? Well, I'm gonna have B inverse A inverse times A times B. It's gonna give me B inverse times the identity matrix times B, or B inverse times B, which is equal to the identity. So we found a matrix such that we multiply it by AB, we get the identity. So C has to be equal to A times B inverse. So that means a times B inverse is equal to B inverse times A inverse. Now, of course, for the problems that we've done, you should run them through your favorite examples of skew symmetric matrices, and I'll leave that to you.